This is the Fairer Design Dayfarer Backpack. It's a sports and work hybrid bag, which means you can go from making money gains at work and then head straight to the gym and make the muscle gains all in one bag. So let's check it out. The first thing you'll notice, a very rectangular design. Simple looking, but you can pack quite a bit in this 18 liter bag that expands to 22 liters thanks to the roll top design. Starting off with a pocket right up front, you wouldn't even know it's there if I didn't show you. Runs the whole face of the front, it's a fairly tight space and doesn't bulge out. It's great for flatter items like the tech pouch they sell separately, which I'll highlight later, but I like to throw my notebook in here, nothing special. A large size hardcover is my go-to, slides perfectly inside with plenty of room to spare. It's great for items you want to access without having to go through your main bag. On that quick access note, they've got two fairly secret ones on the side of the bag, something I didn't even realize was there because of how well hidden they are. The top compartment is a little smaller, again fairly flat and doesn't allow for much expandability, but it does include a key hook sewn in, which I love simply because they use a quality metal clip, putting the detail into every aspect of the bag that most other bags would just throw a cheap plastic piece on instead. In the pocket itself, I store my Victorinox Spartan PS in this all black finish. It's got a little bit of everything you need to get a quick job done, flathead, bottle opener, and a few hidden gems around that you'll be thankful to have, especially if you're the go-to handyman in your circle of friends. I'm not a huge fan of the glossy finish as it does scratch up easily, but you can't deny that this all black look is super stealthy. Inside the same pocket, I store my new Jobber Elite Active 65Ts, an update to my old favorites, the Elite Sports. This is the blue and gold model, a matte and soft finish texture, a whopping 5 hours of battery life with an additional 15 from the charging case, new Bluetooth 5.0 means a better, quicker, and easier connection, and the 4 mics built in help with call quality and wind reduction. Unfortunately, they don't include ear tips this time, but with the right air gel size, they still surprisingly fit very snug. They sound great, they're loud enough to drown out the other moans at the gym, and they don't stick out like a sore thumb. However, they did remove the waterproof rating on this model compared to the Elite Sports, and now only sports an IP56 rating which will do just fine against your massive sweat game. It's a little on the chubby side, but it still fits in the pocket just fine. Moving below that, a larger pocket, but still very flat. I like to throw hand sanitizer, tissue, and most importantly, mints. It also fits my iPhone X with the case on just fine as well, but the pocket is designed to be accessed quickly. I found even with the bag on, I could comfortably reach and access my goodies, or just swing the bag around and slip and slide whatever I need. Finally, if you thought, oh, there's not enough secret pockets on this bag, there's also one along the back. Again, a really tight pocket, but designed for passports, cash, and documents you basically want hidden, especially when traveling or just from your girlfriend. And finally, on the other side of the bag, a very welcome water bottle pocket. And at first glance, it may look sort of useless due to how flat it is. That is, until you realize there's a zipper and wha-bam, a stretched out full-size water bottle pocket ninja hidden style, which is a great opportunity to introduce my new coffee mug, the Cauldron. This all-black double-walled mug, not not only stores your coffee, it reheats it like a real cauldron. There's controls on the base that allow you to set your desired drinking coffee temperature and it'll keep it that way for however long the battery attached beneath it will last. I've had this keep my coffee the same temperature from 8 in the morning all the way until 5 in the afternoon. And if you like boiling water, this can do that too. With all that greatness, it fits into the pocket just fine, which means any measly coffee mug you use won't have any issues. The pocket can actually be a little too loose since the stretchy fabric allows for a little movement, but even through some shakedowns, although wobbly, the mug doesn't slide out. Look, I'll be the first to tell you, this thing is gigantic, but if you value hot coffee as much as I do, then you know it's worth it. And of course, the pocket easily goes back into ninja stealth mode once zipped up. Now for the main course, the main compartment. It utilizes a flap top with a single magnetic fidlock sliding clamp. It's wide, but still very low profile. Slides open one-handed, and closing is as easy as this. The pocket runs the whole length of the bag, and thanks to its sporty features, it also has two zippers that allow the front to open duffel style for complete access to everything inside. But for now, my first must-have, my Nintendo Switch. I use a Villager Supplies 3 up bag, which unfortunately didn't meet their Kickstarter funding goal, but I love thanks to the protective nature and smart pockets. I'm not here to explain why the Switch is awesome. A portable console you can carry with you is self-explanatory for any gamer. Plus, it's the only system I can play Tetris on, so friend code down below for anyone that wants to challenge me. There's card slots along the back, the front is padded with three separate compartments I use to organize additional controllers, wires, and an external battery sometimes too. I'm a fan of the puppy design and hope they come back with another campaign soon. Next are my headphones to stay focused, the very expensive Bose QC35 twos. But before for that, I always carry a pair of wired earbuds because batteries die and wired cables come to the rescue. Anyways, the real deal is this, some of the best noise cancellation you can get, great for traveling to drown out crying babies, but even better in an office environment to drown out annoying coworkers. They're also some of the most comfortable headphones my large head has ever had the chance to feel. I can wear these for hours and not feel fatigued thanks to all this cushioning. 20 hours of battery life that can quick charge in 15 minutes for another two and a half hours of listening. Plus, this all black design, come on, you know you can't resist dropping a few hundred dollars on this bad boy. They're super light, which is why they're so comfy, but that does make them quite flimsy, so I always carry it 
kit in their included hard shell case, along with the lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter because you never know. Next up, Ferret Design's very own tech pouch that's available as a separate purchase. Another fairly flat rectangular pouch, kind of like a miniature version of this bag. Water sealed YKK zippers that wraps around the whole pouch with some tough nylon around the rest of it. It flips open portrait style to reveal three compartments. One side houses an open mesh pocket. I keep my quick access items such as my Mophie Power Station Plus with this very soft fabric finish if you care about a good looking piece of tech, but it's this built-in lightning cable I really care about, making it very convenient to charge any iOS device. It's manageable one-handed, no extra cords dangling around when charging. You're even able to charge other devices with a 10 watt USB output and it charges through a lightning cable itself. Now it is on the pricier side for only 6,000 milliamps of battery, but if you can appreciate the detail and trust of the Mophie brand, it's worth the convenience of a built-in cable. Next, more quick access, some cables like this very rugged Nomad USB-C cable that can convert from a micro and a USB-A input too. This pocket doesn't close up, so it does allow for a bit of expansion if you need it. On the opposite side are two mesh zippered pockets to organize smaller items, and I dig the stiffer and durable mesh material used here so I don't have to worry about it tearing. First up, the Logitech Anywhere 2S mouse. This tiny portable wireless mouse that fits in the palm of my hand, but is the best size to function ratio. I pair this with my laptop and edit without having my hand cramp up. That's not all, if I'm carrying my iPad Pro instead, I use the Swiftpoint GT mouse, an even smaller mouse that's compatible with the Jump desktop software to remote desktop onto my actual PC and control it via a mouse while I'm away from home. And it even charges magnetically. Under those, probably worth the most to me, my Samsung T5 1TB SSD that carries all my footage. I have some Velcro attached to it which keeps my USB-C cable with it at all times and it's just a super lightweight, compact and durable SSD that I can rely on for everything I create here on YouTube. The tech pouch isn't the largest and can't carry a lot, but for the essentials and to avoid bulking up, this will help keep it all organized and protected. And of course, it fits comfortably in the main compartment. Up next are my heavy duty external power banks. Again from Mophie, a premium price, but a brand I can trust not to explode or fail on me. This is the Power Station USB-C XXL, again with the soft fabric wrap covering up 19,500 milliamps of battery, but more importantly, sporting a 30 watt USB-C power delivery input output port. It can easily charge compatible laptops, the new USB-C iPad Pros, and my Nintendo Switch in a jiffy. Now, if I'm carrying my laptop with me instead, I opt for the larger Mophie Power Station AC. It's almost double the size. It still sports that 30 watt USB-C power delivery input output, but also includes a 100 watt AC port through this GFCI protected outlet, which yes, can charge my Dell XPS 15 laptop that needs more power like I do at the gym. Sure, it's a fairly large battery bank, but for what it can do, especially if you work remotely a lot, this 22,000 milliamp battery is a lifesaver and worth the extra weight if you're not sure you'll find an outlet somewhere. And I'll store either of those in the large main compartment. Lastly, if I'm bringing my laptop along, I gotta have my laptop charger too. Now, if I'm going with my tablet setup, I go with my 10.5 inch iPad Pro for its speed, but awesome compact size. Pair it with a super thin Spigen thin fit case for its soft matte and grippy finish. Combine that with the very own Apple smart keyboard because it doesn't get much better than that in terms of functionality to size. And then a pen holder stuck right around front to keep my pencil in place. It stays in securely, easily retrievable and positioned so it doesn't get in the way of using the keyboard in any orientation. This is my super compact tablet setup that I can get all my writing and storyboards complete while on the go without weighing me down. And that's everything I'd carry in my work bag. And as you can tell, there's plenty of room left for a lunch and even workout gear as it's intended for. But now taking a look at the front flap itself, there's two zippered pockets. The bottom is fully covered in a lightweight water resistant fabric with the top covered in that thick durable mesh we saw earlier in the tech pouch. Both pockets do have some expandability to them that allows for thicker objects such as one of my favorite screen cleaners, the mini eye roller. Flip it open and it'll reveal a micro suction like rolling pin that's pretty self-explanatory. Get your device's screen dirty up, open the eye roller, and roll on roll off. I prefer this over sprays because I don't need to wipe anything down, it doesn't get everything else wet, and it just ensures I'm keeping as much liquid away from my electronics as possible. The pad can be washed with water and air dried, and it's ready to go when your greasy chicken fingers attack again. I stuff that into the mesh pocket to keep it organized along with other smaller essentials like a pack of gum because coffee breath, eye drops because when you get old and stare at a screen too long, your eyes start to shrivel up and this is a lifesaver. Then a pen for my notebook, I prefer thin tips for precise sketching, but also my Fisher Space bullet pen because just look how tiny this thing is. Then bam, full sized. It has a pressured ink cartridge, which means you can write in any orientation and even in outer space. And of course that all black, so smooth, so black. All of that fits in the mesh pocket with plenty of room to spare. Now I don't use the bottom pocket much, but it's similar in size, except it's fully covered. It's great for personal grooming items, stuff you don't want to mix with the rest of your bag, maybe some deodorant for your stinky armpits, but there's plenty of space and the fabric used prevents anything from leaking while staying flexible and lightweight. And that's 
main compartment. As you can tell, that's only half the bag and it can store way more tech if you like to hoard on the go. The main buckle allows you to utilize the whole bag by uncinching or pull it right down to keep everything from jingle belling around. Around back is a water sealed YKK zipper that reveals a large laptop compartment that stores up to a 15 inch laptop. Like my Dell XPS 15. Although smaller than most 15 inch laptops, it's still quite thick, but fits comfortably in with a full bag of other gear. And don't worry, that waterproof zipper keeps everything dry. Oh yeah. Nada. Thankfully, they also decided to raise the laptop compartment so you don't have to worry about banging around when you set it down. Last item, but my favorite, the Hero Clip, a carabiner with a built in hook. You clip it onto your bag and hang the other end up anywhere. You'll understand and thank me when you walk into a washroom stall without a hook. You're welcome. When you're done, fold it together and I clip it to the side strap for easy access. That's what I carry. Fully packed, the bag hides everything neatly, and before I forget, there's even a hidden pocket in the shoulder strap. Cards, mints, whatever small objects you need to grab very, very quickly. But as a quick view of what I carry if I'm heading to the gym, shoes in a dedicated pocket, gym clothes, my brazen collapsible foam roller, and a change of clothes for after my sweat session, all that with my laptop inside the dedicated pocket around back. Now you're ready to get swole. The Dayfarer ranges from an 18 to 22 liter bag thanks to that roll top enclosure and as you saw it holds everything I carry on a day to day basis with plenty of room to spare. So now let's talk about the 5 reasons I love this bag. First, comfort. The combination of the thick back padding, soft shoulder straps with the sternum strap makes carrying heavy loads like my laptop feel light. And that's thanks to the laptop compartment sitting right next to my bag therefore as close as possible to my center of gravity which means I feel a lot less of the weight and it doesn't feel like the bag is dragging me down. Second is its compact shape and size. There aren't any extra pockets sticking out, it's sleek, it's simple looking, and that's kind of what you want when you walk into an office environment. Even the water bottle pocket hides away neatly when not in use. It's just a clean and minimal rectangular bag that no one will ever know is carrying your stinky gym shoes. Thirdly, the materials. This whole bag is basically nylon, which is great for weatherproofing and dealing with your sweat. The bottom panel looks like a thicker and stiffer nylon, so you don't to worry when you set this down. Which brings me to my fourth point, this shoe pocket, which should be standard on all bags that claim to be for sports. And yes, anything you put in this pocket does take up the same amount of space on the inside of the bag, but the point is, my stank shoes aren't going to be making love to my $400 headphones. And if you can't afford cool camel looking gym shoes, that's fine. It'll also fit stank towels and t-shirts or underwear in here too. Even better, if and when you're not using it, there's a dedicated strap that keeps it out of the way. And the side effect of that is all this extra material doubles as some nice padding for your other goodies. Fifth point goes to pockets. For one, they all have these water sealed zippers on them. Even the damn water bottle pocket has a water sealed zipper, which is completely unnecessary, but gives it that uniform awesome look nonetheless. I prefer zippered main compartments over roll tops, but I do appreciate he used one big fidlock magnetic clip compared to other bags that generally have a clip on each side. This means it's a quick one headed action to get in, but also stays secure when you need it to be. The large main compartment is just this empty space for you to carry whatever you want and the inclusion of the duffel style opening means although it's designed for work and sports, you can totally use it as a travel bag. Or better yet, it can double as a camera bag too. And although it looks like a very simple bag with not a lot of organization, the rest of the pockets are actually very well hidden. You've got two quick access pockets on the side here, which you can't really see from the front. This super hidden pocket along the back, which you can't see unless you take the bag off. The front pocket is so hidden, you'll basically forget it's there. And then there's the hidden shoulder pad pocket for small things such as cards, keys, mints for your stinky breath. He basically put a pocket everywhere and you just gotta play hide and seek with the bag until you find them all. That's it. That's the Fairy Design Dayfarer backpack. There were some features I didn't mention like the luggage pass-through and some add-on accessories they have as well but those are generally my items I carry on a daily basis to the office a 15 inch laptop with all my gear and it fits neatly inside the Dayfarer backpack so if you find you carry a duffel and a backpack to work to accommodate your swole lifestyle you may want to consider switching over to the Dayfarer backpack and only carry this one sleek bag links to everything I carry and the bag are down below like and subscribe if you want to see more leave a comment what your favorite feature was and I rest my bag